Hello everybody and thank you once again for joining me uh, here for today's video. I'm going to do some ranked play. Uh, we're going to try and get into some ranked matches. I'm in the Platinum tier after finishing in Mythic last season. It's a lot of, a lot of fun to make that accomplishment for myself, if I do say so. So make sure you subscribe for more content like this. I do deck techs, I do events, I do uh, try and do a draft every week. I will be doing this Sealed Dominaria event. Uh, this is going to be pretty exciting. But today I want to revisit a deck I played a few weeks, maybe a few months ago. And that is my uh, Jeskai Control deck. Jeskai for red, white, blue colors. Uh, control for lots of counter spells. And my I don't play with Tefiri. I am anti-Tefiri. I, I hate playing that way. So my replacement is Gutter Snipe. I feel like he's a suitable replacement if you've got a lot of instant and sorcery spells. Just, just Gutter Snipe. Like he'll, he'll shoot them until they die. And I think it's uh, it works pretty good. And and of course, Banefire is also my other win condition. There's a few win conditions in here. Um, so I'll cover the deck tech, um, and then we will get into like some gameplay, see how it plays out in uh, in rank play. You know what I'm saying? I do have two spell pierces, and I'm on the fence about just running two. I might want a couple more because a lot of times, particularly against control decks, they'll sell out for that spell like um, Wilderness Reclamation. They might sell out for it. Or Hydroid Crisis, and they can pierce it, and they got no mana left, and then it, it's actually working really good right now in the meta. And for one blue, it counters a spell unless they pay to, so it works really well. I'm also running Revitalize for card draw and anti-aggro, so you gain that three life. That's pretty huge against non-mono red aggro decks. Uh, three life is, is pretty substantial. If you're playing against mono red, though, it may not make a difference. Um... You know, mono red's pretty powerful if it, if it goes off on you. If they stall out, then you could then you win pretty easily. All you got to make it till is to turn like seven against mono red, and if you do it, then then you kind of win. Um, but this is also a nice card draw. Three negates, so it counters a non-creature spell. And there's a whole lot of non-creature spells out there right now, so I feel like three is okay. I do have my search for Escanta. If you can get this to go off, you're in, you're in business. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, you can look at the top card of your library, and you can put it into your graveyard. Or not, so it's sort of like, um, it's exactly like Surveil, actually. You can look at it, and you can put it in your graveyard or put it in your, basically into your hand. And then if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, you can transform it into a tap for blue mana, or pay three, and look at the top four cards of your library and search for a non-creature. It's pretty amazing. And then that goes into your hand. It's revealed, so revealed to your opponent. And then the rest go on the bottom of your library in any order. It's kind of nice. Um, four Sinister Sabotages, just a regular counter spell, Surveil 1, and four Gutter Snipes. So anytime you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Gutter Snipe deals two damage to each opponent. Super awesome. Uh, he's easy to protect. I, I try not to play him on turn three if that's the case, just because I want him to get some, some useful life out there. Now here's where here's where the deck gets a little fuzzy for me. Um, I like playing this way, but you may want to rethink this next little bit here. I am running two Deafening Clarions just in case the board gets out of control. I'll kill my own Gutter Snipe if I have to, and and do three damage to everybody in the process. Now, if you could get Gutter Snipe to survive and give him Life Link, you will gain that two life because Gutter Snipe is dealing the damage. So, but there's nothing in here that would protect him from that three damage. So it it depends on on how you want to do it. I also run two Settles the Wreckage. This is nice versus aggro or a big creature you can't resolve otherwise where if they attack, you exile all their attacking creatures um, for four white mana. But you don't always end up playing all these, and that's okay, because Chemister's Insight has jump start, and you would discard these cards to Chemister's Insight when you want to draw cards. Um, but, but I do run three Chemisters for four mana, draw two cards. Two Cleansing Novas. This is mostly for artifacts and enchantments these days, where your opponents have, if they're doing... Um, well, you won't run into too many issues of them using, like, uh, Conclave Tribunals or stuff like that to get rid of your, your creatures, but you may. And then you might want a Cleansing Nova just to get rid of everybody's, uh, you know, all the enchantments out there. I'm running a Ral that is a Viceroy, um, just just as a one-of, just for fun. Like, it's always good to have, I think, like a Planeswalker in there who's not a creature, although against... Now, I, I built this deck in response to... Um, like Golgari and and Mono Red Aggro is, uh, and uh, Is It Drakes, but against Esper Control we're dead. We're, it's but Esper Control is a much more expensive deck. 
I tried to make a budget version that doesn't work very well, uh, and I just don't have the cards for Esper Control right now. Getting there, but not quite, so I'm not ready for Esper. Um, against Esper, I think we're toast, because they'll just Ross says Contempt, or, or, or is it Viceroy away, and he goes away, and we say bye-bye. Um, but against other deck types, it's kind of cool, because you just start hitting that plus one, and then your opponent doesn't know who to attack, and sometimes they'll throw everything at Rel. And then, and then you can swing in for, for victory or bane fire or something like that. So it, it's kind of nice sometimes, or you can use Rail as a decoy and then do like a board clear. And if not, I have got a Niv Mizzet in there, which is a six casting five five flying, can't be countered. And whenever you draw a card, he deals one damage to any target. And then whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery spell, you draw a card. If you have Niv Mizzet and Gutter Snipe out, it's like auto concede for the opponent. It's awesome because he'll do two. Niv Mizzet does one. It's their toast. I'm running three syncopates. I like syncopate versus um, nexus of fate. It's like nexus of bye bye because it exiles it. Uh, that is that is the only reason it's in here is because I hate nexus of fate. Although now in best of ones, which I will be playing today, that's not an issue because uh, they finally banned nexus of fate. So I will use syncopate for other things that I just don't want to come back and be happy to do it. Three Bane Fires. If I had four, I'd put four in here. This is my favorite kill card. Um, in, in the previous version, I think it was a few months ago, I actually won a game. I just Bane Fire, Bane Fire, Bane Fire, and the game was over. It was pretty funny. Uh, like, turn after turn after turn. It was, it was really hilarious. Um, but since then, I've retooled the deck, and I've actually gotten some more lands to talk about. So, I've got four islands, two memorials to Genius now. I could make some more, but I'm happy with two. And two mountains. I'm not running any planes, which could be kind of silly, but I'm not doing it. Uh, one Glacial Fortress, which is the land that comes into play if you uh, untapped if you have a plains or an island. So I've got four islands. Hopefully that works. I do have a Hallowed Fountain, which is a plains island. And I do have uh, two Sacred Foundries, which are plains mountains. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't done it. I don't have any steam vents for the Is It <laughs> the is it Dual Land. I don't have any. Um, two Meandering Rivers, which is just a tap land. Three Highland Lakes and two Is It Guild Gates. Again, just the Is It. Uh, flavor tap lands and then one sulfur falls i only have yeah i only have one uh so is what it is two boros guild gates one cliff top retreat so this would work with either sacred foundry or hallowed fountain or the island or the mountain so this works pretty well with everything oh no no this is the uh mountain plains it's the cliff top retreat that's the uh the, the check land and, you know, it's not, not terrible to try and push the limits of what your land base can do with, with control decks. And you'll notice there are 25 lands in the deck, which is a little, I think, high. But my goal is to get big Bane Fires. So if you have the ability to replace these with nothing but um, either Shock Lands or Check Lands, you're in business with this deck. Uh, this is this is a crazy land base <laughs> right here, <laughs> but we'll see how it plays out. I'm really curious about playing this in ranked, so even though it's a little janky, uh, that's okay. You know, ranked can be, uh, especially in like best of ones. Here we go, and I'm platinum tier three, and I don't mind losing. That's part of the game, but I do want to hopefully win a few. And and what I do strategically, if I'm facing a lot of mono red that day, or if I'm facing a lot of Otherwise, aggro decks, I will switch it up to control or mid-range, and vice versa if I'm playing a lot of... I, I kind of like where we're going with this here. If I'm playing against a lot of control decks, I'll switch it up and go aggro or something that might help me win that game. This looks like the uh, ever-popular Rakdos deck we're seeing. We'll do uh, a tapped Hallowed Fountain. Cool. So now my lands are going to work, so he's doing... Okay, Thought Erasure, that's new. <laughs> if he doesn't take Banefire because he's thinking it's janky, then we're in business. Because Banefire gets pretty nasty later on. That's what I thought. That's what I hoped, actually. He's got a lot of... Because I have some counter magic in here. Okay. Here we go. Maybe I drew a counter spell. Maybe I didn't. It's a gutter snipe. Now, now he can see it. So now he's looking at this going, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> but in best of ones, you can kind of get away with this nonsense. Yeah, gutter snipe goes. Sulfur falls, and we're good. 
two counter spells, and he's also surveil, and then we can just hit our land drops hopefully every turn. Dragon's Horde, huh? I feel like letting our opponent have this is a little risky for now, but I am running Cleansing Nova, so the odds of me drawing into a Cleansing Nova aren't terrible. Now, I'm going to save my Gutter Snipe. I would love to get him on the board soon, but I don't feel like there's any reason to rush it. So yeah, we'll go ahead and counter Sarkhan Fireblood there. Yep. Oh yeah. That is what we're looking for. And we have enough for a counter spell. And I mean, even though I'm playing like this janky Jeskai control deck here, this is this is pretty janky too, what we're facing, like this dragon's thing. Uh, we will draw into a syncopate. And we will simply say go. I may even try and drop this gutter snipe. Um, nope, I'm going to syncopate this for two. Because sometimes they can pull him out of the graveyard. And that's pretty dumb. Because then he gets him again. And he's playing black. And I don't like that at all. Uh, we will bring this back for sure. And I feel like it's a good time to drop Gutter Snipe because I have a protection spell for him. So I'm going to do it. He could he could play around Negate. Um, we'll see. Depending on what he's got. He's got some black, some red, some blue. He could even, like, lightning strike him. Yeah, this isn't great. Although, yeah, so he could... I could negate this into a Vraska's Contempt, and that could be what he's doing. Either In either case, he gains... He gains a net of zero life. Say so he's got something in there. That's why he's holding priority. Yep. So, okay. That's not great. And I've got five cards. Definitely library. Our niv it, and we say go. Okay, we'll counter the Hellkite. You don't get that. Nope, nope, nope. That's definitely a library card there. Definitely a library card because I need the mana base for... Um, do I have enough? One, two, three blue, three red. Yeah, I've got enough. So next turn. Now, here's the thing. If this was a, a proper land, we would have niv it down this turn. That's what we're missing by playing super janky. Uh, if this is a thought erasure, we're in trouble. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> okay, we will take that. Um, no, we won't do it just yet. And then we'll do Cleansing Nova next turn and get rid of all the artifacts and enchantments. Yeah. Hope it doesn't kill my Niv Mizzet. That would just piss me off. I know what I'm doing. One more damage. He discards the Scarg and Hellkite. And now he attacks, and I will definitely block. I feel like his Niv Mizzet was much more of a kill card for him. We will. I'm going to have to library this, even though it's pretty valuable. Transform, search for, drew uh, island anyways, and now we can destroy all artifacts and enchantments, and we'll have to resolve Mr. Fireblood. Oh, does he have a counter spell? Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Man, this is janky. This is like the jankiest game of Magic ever played. In theory... I will be drawing into my my card draw. Well, I do have search for scan that. This is good. Let's just remove one to draw a card. Oh, that's pretty nice. We'll go ahead and do it now. Just because we're we are looking for cards. Okay, we'll take a sinister sabotage and be happy with that. He can see it too, so we'll have to resolve. Now, we got beat by janky dragons, did we? 
It's actually pretty good. I, I don't mind this dragon don't deck at all. It's pretty good. Well, may as well get the surveil going, you know what I mean? Hmm. Yep, so there goes Banefire. I feel like this deck would not do very well against aggro, but maybe I'm wrong because all the moments of craving and stuff. Now, what are we gonna do here? Let's let's dig. We'll dig. Hmm. I think we lose this game, which is funny, like, <laughs> the matchmaking system in this game needs some work. I haven't seen a Dragon's deck since I've been playing all month, and the second I make this janky control deck and play it in the arena, I get, like, <laughs> pitted against this other really janky style deck that I would easily beat with Mono Red Aggro, but, but that's not what we're playing against. I, I think he counters this, which would be the right, no, would have been the right move. And we'll main phase Escanta. Ideally, you wouldn't have to main phase this, but we're really out of options right now. Uh, I like Rao. One, two, three. If I could cast him. Well, that's game. Um, if we could cast Rao, we could resolve one of the tokens, or if we would have got to settle the wreckage, we could have saved it for one of the tokens. Like, could have changed how the course of this game played out, but we lose this game to a couple of good... I mean, that's a pretty good dragon deck, though. It's, it's pretty well thought out. He's got niv Mizzet, he's got Nikki B. He's got some pretty big red dragons in there, so that's kind of nice. And we played two white spells. How awesome. Wonder what two. Alright, here we go. Down to tier four all over again. That's that is how this rating says. Okay, here we go. So there's a couple cleansing novas in the starting hand. And not not much else to do. I'm going to mulligan this. No, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to take a mulligan. Okay. And it doesn't matter really what it is because... Oh, yeah, we'll drop the... It's all tap lands, which is just how my life goes uh, for now because it's, you know, playing on a budget. I think as soon as I can do some more of these events... Uh, like this, I'm excited about the uh, Dominaria draft event because that'll give me a chance. It's not not a draft event; it is a uh, sealed event. Oh, I can't do anything about this Wild Growth Walker. That is frustrating. I'm gonna save my Syncopate just in case he does something heinous. Like uh, what I would really want to Syncopate is a a Jade Light Ranger. I don't know that I would care too much about. Got the other flavor. Still have a lot of removal in here. And he's not... He might be playing blue. So I'm okay with the memorial here. It'll come down tapped, and then we'll hold off on gutter snipe. Mm-hmm. And then an island, and... Okay... Didn't get land, so all right, yeah, he got mana screwed. That's not not an ideal victory. Although although that hand looked a lot more promising than in the prior game, but I really do not like winning that way. I want to win a, a, a full game, you know. I don't like when my opponents get mana screwed. Though I will take it because I have been mana screwed plenty of times. <laughs> Bromerica. First, I don't hate this hand. Okay, we'll keep it. I also like control decks or like mid-range style decks for the arena sometimes. I used to think 
it was all about uh, aggro. You want to go as aggro as possible. But then what I learned last month is that playing aggro decks like that, also, you can win some games in, in rapid succession, but you will also lose a lot of games in rapid succession, and that is definitely not fun. So, this is Plains or Mountain, and so what I want to do is... Well, shoot, if I, if I play the Clifftop Retreat, then I can't play the Negate. But I'm sort of okay with that, because I have this Deafening Clarion, which kills everything in his deck. Um, on, and I could do that on turn three if I drop the Retreat now. So why don't we do that, and we'll let it ride. We'll take, at the most, seven damage. This is ridiculous. If he drops a Mountain, hits me for one, and then does two... Oh, it's a Cavalcade. Okay. <laughs> oh, awesome. Alright, so there's my foundry, which would have been cool. But we'll go slow. We'll go slow. So I'm gonna let him have some minions so I can pop him. If he's got a Legion War boss. Okay, I'm gonna let him have it, and I'm gonna take four. No, I I get it, that's a lot, but I'm still gonna take the four, so two from this, two from the cavalcade. But I've got I've got options. Hopefully I can get to them quicker quickly. Clarion's a sorcery, but it resolves everything he's got, and I can play tap lands. And we'll do, we'll do both. No reason not to. And now he's he should be happy about that because he's probably sitting on some good stuff here, and I got nothing, nothing except Banefire. So we will see. If I were to sideboard this deck, I would put in, I would put in some. Uh, something to deal with the one ones like like um I forget what it's called but it does one damage to it's a sorcery it does one damage to all of the opponent's creatures from uh, Guilds of Ravnica so we're gonna let that enter tapped and we're gonna drop our gutter snipe I think he's gonna get shocked though I'm pretty sure he's dead yep there it goes and I don't have because of the tap lands again, I don't. Oh, 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 yeah, I got nothing. Anyways, I don't have a counter spell, though that would have been nice. Cosmotronic wave. That's what it's called. Cosmotronic wave, which would do one damage to everything. I feel like we've got enough board clears in here. I just, I just don't get them. Uh, this will enter tapped, and we're pretty much toast. I mean, if he drops one, one, one with haste or a, or another. Uh, Legion War boss, we're dead. So against aggro, it's a little slow. I'm not super happy about that. I'm gonna sabotage that and hope to draw into something amazing. He's got a direct damage spell. Ral's not gonna do it. Well, but he does give me extra card draw for five mana. I don't know. This game's kind of over. So let's see what happens. I'll I'll keep him. Here comes six. I feel like Negate is safe here because he probably doesn't have too many non-creature spells. Um, and yeah, there's nothing I can do. But he's got he's got to hit me for one. So well, okay, poops. That's two down. So really, we haven't really won a game yet. Um, we, the game I did win, it wasn't even wasn't even a win. I feel like Esper control is so much stronger with moments of craving and Vraska's contempts and all the all the smaller removal. That that's probably the direction. I would really want to go. Okay, so I go first. Oh, here's a Settle the Wreckage. This would have been nice against uh, the deck we just played. However, knowing this game and knowing the matchmaking system, we are going to get Thought Erasured on turn two, and uh, and I will not draw into a non-tap land. So here we go. Highland Lake, tap land. It's all we can afford. No big deal. And then we will play... We will draw another tap land. No, don't even didn't even draw an on tap land. So here comes the thought erasure, and he's gonna take my settle the wreckage or my deafening clarion. It's gone. Oh goody.
Maybe we're just matched up against regular Golgari. Could it be? No hydroid crises? Well, I hope it doesn't become a 4-3. Lurking Chupacabra. Okay, that's not bad. Kind of cool. Alright, so I feel like... I feel like it's a safe move to Clarion now and then wait for a settle. I, I feel like clearing the board early is, is a pretty good move. Definitely want to do three damage to each creature. Kapow. Or else we'll end up taking way too much damage and I and my four little revitalizes aren't going to be enough to turn the game back around for me. Path of Discovery is kind of cool. So, not ready for Gutter Snipe yet. If I had a Spell Pierce, I might hang on to Gutter Snipe. Um, although Lurking Chupacabra becomes a... A Ravenous Chupacabra, sort of, not really. But whenever it enters the battlefield, it explores now. And whenever a creature explores, he gives a creature minus two, minus two. And here we go. Um, I'm going to sabotage this because I want to surveil. Yep, we'll keep that syncopate. And now we drop Gutter Snipe. We've got a blue mana. Hmm, no, he's just gonna Chupacabra. I should have thought of that. I can't syncopate the Chupacabra for one, because he's got the two. I could cast it make him pay for it, and then do two damage. But now that was a bit of a misplay on my part. I should have calculated the math better. Into a ravenous chupacabra. Terrific. Sink of one won't do it. Another, he keeps the chupacabra. Okay. It's five to draw two, which is okay. I'm happy with that. If he attacks, I will settle this. Or I lose too much health, and I don't want to try and recover from that. This is just Walker, Walker Stompy here. So I've got to counterspell the Walker, which I, I will syncopate with everything I got. No doubt he plays around Settle the Wreckage right here. He can exile those and explore. He's got, yep, 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 he's got a Walker. He knows it. But he tapped him, so now he's not going to attack with him. So now I'm just settling one creature. That's not worth it. So I have to take three. Why don't we draw a couple cards? I got some land out of the way. Hopefully it's all <laughs> it's all tap lands. I keep telling myself that's okay, but at some point it's it's not gonna be okay. And he's gonna play his walker, which we'll explore. I'm going to sink a five, this guy. Because he should, by all rights, play around, settle the wreckage. Let's just, let's just sink him. This is a Golgari Stompy right here. This isn't bad. This also isn't a isn't a bad deck idea, but it's it's funny if you play like mono white aggro or mono red aggro like a premier deck list, you will be faced with nothing but like Esper control. That's it. It's like pits you up against decks that will counter yours. It's super frustrating.
So I wonder if then, uh, or maybe this is just the deck types that we're seeing tonight, I wonder if after this game, if we do like a mono red game, we might get our steamkins and play and see that go off. We'll do an, ex we'll do an experiment. We'll do an experiment. I don't think this game's going to work out for us. Let us see. I've got seven mana, so I could negate and settle something. Plenty of white. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just settle this. I wonder if he's going to save these for a walker. Nope, he's just going to cast them right away. That goes down, and then we counter the next one, right? See if we can't find something that, that I mean, will sinister sabotage on the walker for sure. He doesn't have any non-creature cards, but it won't take much. I mean, we're already taking five a turn, so he's lasted through our control. We'll sabotage the walker. I don't want him having any walkers ever again. We'll drop the meandering river. Pick up a whatever we draw into. Yeah, you may as well. You may as well. I don't have much. I mean, if we draw into like a cleansing nova, you know. We could cleanse it all down, but our win condition... We've got nine mana, so we could do eight point bane fires, but... I don't know, I feel like we're still missing... Well, there's our cleansing nova. So we will do all creatures. And he's got to be pretty frustrated with this nonsense right here. I would be... I'd be like, hey man... Two lands, yeah. Oh, but that's a good one. He's got the uh, memorial down. We'll just chemistry's insight in our main phase. Cool. I feel like casting chemistry's insight and ditching negate might be okay. Because I do not want... I need a counterspell, because this Chupacabra will kill Niv-Mizzet. That's like the perfect counter for Niv-Mizzet. And I hate everything about that counter for Niv-Mizzet. But, actually, this is a great draw against this board state in the game. This could turn this game around for us. But we will see. We'll see. He could... He could folly... A walker? Is that what he's trying to do? Is folly a walker? And then cast the walker, and if that's the case, we cleansing Nova again. Yep. Perfect. Okay. He graveyards that, right? No, he keeps it there? Yeah. So I think I should insight the negate. He attacks me for one, perhaps? Sure. Okay, so here we go. I hope he plays that Chupacabra. He's he's probably going to save it for, for Nivy. i got to think. We'll, dis we'll ditch Negate. He doesn't have too many non-creature spells. drop. Cleansing Nova, all creatures, they go bye-bye. Cool. And we have our one counter spell that we can use to keep Niv-Mizzet alive. Should that come up? Yep, I'm gonna let him have a Jade Light, uh, just because I think I can kill it with Niv-Mizzet, the card draw, and the, and the, the one damage. Cool. Okay.
and Rao. Okay. Can't be countered. One, two, three, four mana. Save that. I feel like I feel like threatening this Jade Light Ranger isn't a bad idea. So one damage to him at this point isn't all that great, although I only have one mana open. Now the walker gets played. Sure, he gains a bunch of life. Okay. Whenever you draw a card. Okay, I'm going face here. Okay. And we're going to play Ral. Is it Viceroy? We are going to do 12 damage to his Wild Growth Walker. And that's it. that's it. I don't want to attack. Okay, he just quits. Okay, cool. So we got got control of that game again. Ral and Niv Mizzet come home and win the game. So not bad. That's that's is a good example of what you can do with a janky control deck if you give yourself some options. Uh, you can kind of sneak away with one. And I feel like, um, you know, again, I do change up the way I play though, especially in the latter, because if I'm doing if I'm having success playing an aggro deck, I stick with it and I go nuts. Uh, but the second I go on like a two or three game losing streak with my aggro, I, I turn it off and I switch to like either mid range or control. And that's what I stick with it. And I just try and basically counter what's happening that day and uh, and climb the ladder. Now, the ladder is a little brutal. So we're in platinum tier. Uh, we'll be in platinum tier for for another week. And then hopefully we can climb up and out of diamond a week, you know, and give ourselves a week in the uh, at, at the mythic rank just to see how decks work in Mythic, but, um, you know, don't be afraid to try stuff, particularly in the, you know, in this, if you're a budget player, free to play like me, um, you know, it's, it'll, it'll work out for you eventually. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate all the support y'all give me and, uh, do remember to like and subscribe and, you know, follow along for more videos just like this one. Thanks and have fun.